Oof. Uh, I mean, now I could give I could give more assignment in terms of like, but but that right there is a week's assignment for sure. Like, I, I there's always more that can be done. Um, and you can you can kind of set up arbitrary rules to practice with to try to force yourself into situations that you're, um, you're not necessarily prepared for, and then that shows you kind of where to get prepared. Like you could do this, for example, you could alternate between the minor. Uh, sorry, the harmonic minor and the melodic minor uh, for various chords. Like, let's say, for example, you had a two five one. You did a harmonic minor over the two. You did the melodic minor equivalent, or that would suit the G seven, meaning altered scale. And then you did the Ionian with a sharp five on on the major chord, and that would be the harmonic minor variant mode that 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 suited the C major chord, right? So what's interesting here is you have three chords and two different um, two different scales that you're alternating between. And what that means is that the second time you do it, it's going to flip. You know what I mean? So like if you do harmonic minor, melodic minor, harmonic minor, and then you go back to the D chord, you're going to do melodic minor over the D instead of harmonic minor. Harmonic minor over the... Um, uh, the G, not, not not harmonic minor itself, but the mode, which would be super Locrian probably, since you're going to go to a, a one chord, and then um, and then uh, major seven sharp eleven with an with a, aug augmented really augmented seven sharp eleven to be the melodic minor, and then try that mode, and then and then do that same alternating between melodic minor and harmonic minor there um, in, from that mode, and then the next mode that's Man, that's a lot. That's a lot. The hardest part, really, I think, is keeping your mind wrapped around things and not not going too far at one time. That I find to be personally really hard. Like I want to, like I'll do I'll do something for five minutes, and then five more minutes, and be like, okay, I've been doing this for a while. I haven't, you know, I've been doing it for 10 minutes. No big deal. It's like throwaway time. That's nothing. Um, and so I want to go on to the next one and I often will. And that, 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 that hinders my progress. So I got to go, all right, dude, well, I got to do, I got to pick one thing and do it for a long time. And one thing doesn't mean harmonic minor because that's a lot of things, you know, uh, or one exercise, like even one mode is not, is not small enough because there's all the exercises you can do within it all the ideas all of the all the sequences and all of the string skipping and horizontal versus vertical those are all the different things even though they're it's just you can't get it small enough what you got to do is you got to go okay i'm just gonna go up and down this one pattern and do that for a long time and just going up and down a pattern like you know maybe 10 minutes, let's say, hopefully that's long enough. And then, and then try sequencing like five minutes of just, uh, thirds, uh, sequenced in thirds and then five minutes in fourths. Um, and then five minutes in fifths, five minutes in sixth, then do sevenths. And that would be what? That'd be 35 minutes. That'd be 35 minute practice routine. That's not a that's not very long. I mean, thirty minutes is like what the goal is for to tell to tell beginners. But people who play like you do, thirty minutes is like nothing, right? I mean, you gotta like gotta push it to like an hour has got to be the minimum, and the hour has to be concentrated. Now, if you concentrate hard, that thirty five minutes there of ten minutes going up and down. In fact, you know what? I would just reduce it five minutes in seconds. Right, a sequence in seconds is just going up the scale, basically. I mean, for whatever, just go up and down five minutes, and then thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths, and then you'll have a thirty-minute practice routine. And then, uh, then the next thirty minutes, you know, maybe you want to like try to integrate, use it in a song. Uh, and I'm talking about one shape, you know. So like, if you took that first one, harmonic minor, and. Uh, and and then uh, after you did that 30 minutes, then maybe take a song in the real book, like All the Things You Are, one of those simple ones. Uh, and whenever you get a minor chord, 
use that shape. Try to be musical and stuff with your major sevens and, and dominants. And the moment you get to a minor, just, just use the shape. And you could use it in thirds and sixths or whatever, all the stuff you practiced in that first half hour. But um, just trying to like force new information into your mo like into your life. It's not just something you know. Like it has to be something. I mean, it has to be something you know. It can't just be something that you know of or know about. Um, and to the extent to which you do know it is really important too. Because I, I, for me, harmonic minor is is that. It's it's a perfect example of something I know about. And I never use, but then when I sit down and use it here right now, I go, man, this is cool as hell. I gotta practice. And 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 what usually makes me want to get better at it <clears throat> is like when I listen to old eighty shred, and I go, wow, this guy doing you know, Ying Bay or Paul Gilbert, and I go, that's so cool. I want to learn how to do that. And so I'll kind of practice harmonic minor for that, and then I get back to like playing a blues, and I never ever do it. It's like, well, why don't I do it in a blues? Like at least once in a while, what does it really mean to do it in a blues? You know, it's like, um, for example, if you took the Ionian sharp five, you could use that if you flat the seven, you know, over dominant chord, like say you're in G, a G blues. You could do G Ionian sharp five, but then just flat to seven. And like now you have the right chord tones and you actually have all the same scale tones. The only difference is you have a, a, a sharp five, you know, and that's not going to be all that weird. It'll actually be really nice because if you go from G seven to C seven, you know, that'll basically be a leading tone into the third of your C seven. And so you can use your harmonic minor there, except I it's not honestly harmonic minor because I've, flat seven, but um, you could use the super Locrian. Uh, if you're going to, yeah, if you're going to go to the C chord, I don't know. It's just like, I, I don't bust it out in blues. That's for sure. Um, when we were doing the six and stuff, I go, well, that sounds really pretty. Like there could be, there could be a pop song in there somewhere. But I don't hear, I don't think of it. That's the thing. I think of harmonic minor when I think of classical shred. That's it. Or when I think of classical. Uh, not, or Baroque, more technical, more like what I really think of. Um, but, I, but I, I, you know, like, that's probably why I, I don't use it so much. But when I listen to Bach, I, I feel like I'm listening to every genre of music at once. So, something to capture the, capture in there like that. The essence of what makes his music so good. And harmonic minor, well, the way we use scales is so different anyway. Like we look at a chord and say, what scale do I want to play over that? Bach would do things like, I need a major seven because I'm changing key, you know? I don't know, it's just different. It's like, well, I'm not allowed, I can't, I can't, it won't sound good. If I if I have a sharp second interval within my scale, so I need to go up, um, uh, melodic minor or whatever, and st and and then down natural minor. You know that song, ba da 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 da. That one. That one does that. In fact, that's like how that melody is written, pretty much. It goes, uh, what is it? It's like E F sharp G. F sharp, E, and then it goes D sharp. So that's harmonic minor, and then it goes E, F sharp, and it goes down to B, B, and then, and then it goes C sharp, D sharp, E, and that C sharp is melodic minor, and then it goes down natural minor, so it goes C sharp, D sharp, E. D C B and it's like that's so cool it's so clever and he's he's it's like he's writing hits man with these scales and and we're just like playing scales you know so how do we get our scales into hits that's hard i don't know i mean he's his it hits you know are different from the Bach hits but 
uh, so yeah, so that's, I don't know, there's just so much to think about and, and explore. There's definitely more to explore than I have, and I can tell in the harmonic minor scale. Um, but for now, I would just try to memorize the patterns. Good old-fashioned shape memorization. Cool? Do you have any questions at all? Any thoughts about harmonic minor that I haven't addressed? Or thought of myself? Maybe you have something for me. Man, yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of like, that's like, you know, that's like that movie, Mag I don't know if Magnolia is the one. It's like Magnolia. It's like everybody's life is live is separate. You've seen all the chords, but all the chords, they're all related somehow in the, in the end. But then, of course, have you seen Magnolia? Of course, in the course of the end, just madness, nonsense, what's happening. I, I, I didn't, I, I, it's been a long time since I saw it. But I remember it was like, what the hell? Meaning like in the end, it's still harmonic minor. And like how many, it's like how many songs have you said, oh, let's jam, dude. And go, what's the key? And the guy goes, oh, we're playing this in the key of, of G diminished. It's like, what? You know, like, what does that mean? Who does that? It's similar with harmonic minor. It's like we're playing in the key of G harmonic minor or whatever. You go, you're playing the key of harmonic minor? He's like, yeah, you, so we're going to start off with the one chord and then go to the four chord to the, yeah, you don't even know what the four chord is, you know what I mean, anymore. And so it's a, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a tricky situation because it sounds cool. It sounds good in shred. sounds good in Baroque. Why don't we hear it in blues? Why don't we hear it in pop? Um, when we hear it in rock, it's always a classical kind of context, a neoclassical. Um, and we don't know it, man. I don't know it well. Like, I don't know what the six, I don't know what, I don't know what the, I wrote it down one time, actually. In fact, you know what, if you're, if you want, what I'll do is I'll go through and, and study it. Um, cause I, the harmonized, harm, the harmonized harmonic minor scale, is something I, I've never, I don't, I've never, I don't know if I've known anybody who's known it. Aside from like Alex Makachek, you know, boom. All right. I would start with the most common ones. Do harmonic minor and uh, Phrygian major. Just get real solid with those first. Uh, if you want, then maybe go on to the super Locrian, which is so closely related to that harmonic minor anyway. I mean, they're just the shape apart. Um, so you could expand your harmonic minor down a pattern and then you can use that for your altered scales. Cool.